I could sleep so much better tonight. I just buy a dupe. I didn't have to go buy a fake. And I'm proud to say I didn't support the replica industry. I'm such a good person. I am damn good and nobody could tell me otherwise. Yes, I'm good. Ah, I'm so good. Ah. Thank you so much and if you are new welcome to my channel please don't forget to click the like button so that you'll be able to access my videos in the future because if you don't you'll never find me again I am worth finding here on YouTube because you're gonna want to hear what I have to say oh, on this channel guys sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability so I'm gonna leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable oh, today we are going to discuss are we being duped that's the question we need to ask ourselves today as you may have seen from my last video I discussed Amazon and the role that the drop collection lines now play in my life today I really had to take another good look at Amazon and I am not I'm not hating because it it's a convenient place to shop when you actually need stuff need is the operative word there so I've been looking at Amazon and I had to ask myself the question, am I being duped? Amazon has been creating a dupe line that is essentially duplicating, dare I say, allegedly replicating all the luxury brands that you see all those top tier influencers have on their walls. <laughs> they must be so mad. They must be so angry. Because you know why? I feel like one could argue that you're being duped. Here we are in a economic system and economic time when Things are really hard financially for almost everyone except the ones that are flexing online right now. The ones that have it, you know, and I think Amazon has recognized that because over the years you have heard many top tier YouTubers, they have really gone at the replica industry, really advocating for it to stop because it's ruining the luxury industry because it's making them look so bad they're no longer as exclusive as they used to be and items are too available because you can't differentiate the dupe no uh, uh, no the replica from the authentic item and oh my god i felt their pain and i'm like while I say to people, listen, it's your money, you do you. As long as you're aware that it may have impact negatively. And at the same time, I have also seen that there is the regular market vendor out there just trying to put food on her table. I've seen it and nobody could tell me otherwise because I have seen them actually hustling to buy food by reselling replicas. 
That's the reality of a lot of vendors that you see there. They are not thinking that what they're doing is actually financing crimes. Or we look at the little guy on the street to help us mitigate these huge societal, political, socio-political issues. But is that where we are actually supposed to look? Because when I personally look at Amazon, I'm thinking those duplicates, the dupes that Amazon are actually churning out legitimately as dupes, when they look exactly like the replicas on the street that I see when I had visited New York Canal Street years ago. It's the same thing I'm seeing that so many people are now proudly showcasing, highlighting. I got this from Amazon. Oh my God, it's the perfect dupe for my Dior. I didn't want to buy a Dior. Now Amazon is selling it legally and I could get it. I don't have to go to the corner back alley streets to buy fakes or replicas anymore because Amazon is doing it for me, allegedly. We need to pay attention to this because the same issues we are trying to prevent, those fakes, uh, sorry, those dupes look so genuine, so authentic that don't you think that if the crime lords, those people that are actually out there trying to finance terror, human trafficking and the likes, drug trafficking, whatever it is that they're trying to finance. Don't you think that those dupes on Amazon are just ripe for the picking? Just perfect for harvesting because they look so great. Just order them. I could see those criminals thinking, I'm just going to order them by the bulk. And it's so easy to get them to, to me because Amazon delivers in the nook and crannies of the U.S. and elsewhere. So I, I am good. I'm going to resell these on the market. They are perfect. They are legitimate. Hike up the prices. Sometimes what I often see is that the capitalists, whoever he or she is, the ones that have the power, who could do whatever they feel like, when they see somebody else beat them to the task, and this is no way, shape, or form in any way like advocating fakes or inauthentic items. No. Actually, I love vintage items. I love those more than anything else but because the capitalist knows that there is indeed profit in that sector now we have so many people so many brands duplicating the items looking almost like the exact real thing with the excuse that it doesn't, oh, it doesn't have the names on it. So it's therefore, it's a dupe. Yeah. I could sleep so much better tonight. I just buy a dupe. I didn't have to go buy a fake. I didn't support the replica industry. I'm such a good person. I am damn good and nobody could tell me otherwise. Yes, I'm good. Ah, I'm so good. Ah, I'm just going to turn a blind eye to the fact that this looks so much. It looks so much like the real deal. Like the real Fendi. like the real Gucci.
like the real Louis. Well, he knows he, he gets a lot of beating. Yeah, yeah, the most replicated. Well, Chanel is really up there too when it comes to replication. Guys, and this bag, it could be considered something like what Amazon is doing. Because, guys, it doesn't say Chanel. And I bought this bag specifically to see if I really love Chanel on me. Because the bags don't really truly appeal to me, to be honest. They don't, really. But what I love is the little mini, the little square mini. So when I saw this, and it's real suede, it's beautiful. Look, I really like the way it looks. But I'll be walking the street and somebody would look at me and they would be like, oh, yeah, all the threads are not lining up. The triangles, they are not lining up properly. Yeah, the CC, the CC doesn't look right. Yeah, and the quality doesn't look great. Guys, this bag, honestly, yeah, I could bet you it's right up there with Chanel quality these days. This dupe, and I'm proud to say I didn't support the replica industry because I purchased this dupe on the second-hand market from a local Montreal seller, and it doesn't say Chanel. It's not trying to be Chanel. And for the love of God, who knows whether Chanel was the original CC logo and whether or not, yes, I know her name is Coco Chanel. Her nickname is Coco Chanel. Based on whatever she used to do in her life. But there's this other company. I don't know how their company also got away. Is it Umbro? I think it's Umbro that has a very similar logo like this. And honestly, guys, I don't know how they got away with it. Who did it first? You know, who actually turned the two C's back to front and say, hey, this is Coco Chanel. So I say all this to say that we often need to do some sort of introspection to know if we are actually just being hypocritical at times. And if we really believe that when we buy a dupe on Amazon, which so many, so many YouTubers are advocating and proudly showcasing, if we are really accepting the fact that these are not replicas, are you really just being willfully blind duping your own self or is it amazon or whoever does it that's duping you the other brand that i also want to look at is mr steve madden steve steve my boy what are you doing are you duping or are you allegedly replicating because, Steve, this, what did you do? What does this look like? Yeah, it looks like Mew Mew. Almost to the T. Except that it has Steve Madden in here and not Mew Mew. And I love this to death. I bought this when I had no idea Mew Mew existed. None. Until I started shopping second hand. So I've even loved quilted bags before I even knew that Chanel existed as well. And I honestly never like really had a lot in my collection. 
I have these two. One could also argue that they look like Chanel brand. These are my Rebecca Minkoff's bags and I love them. But you wouldn't dare go to Rebecca and tell her, girl, you're duplicating, you're replicating. Which would she take? She would take the dupe because she would be highly offended that you're telling her she's replicating. And fine, but honestly, if I look at these closely, yeah, yeah. Are we being duped? So, when I also look at Steve Madden's summer sandals, I went into the store and I almost bought one because I'm looking to replace the dupe. Here we go again. Yeah, I had bought the dupe to the Hermes Oran sandal to test it out. But based on what people are saying, buying a dupe, may not really give a good indication of comfort level because it, yeah it's different right you may slightly get the look but it doesn't necessarily work when it comes to comfort and i heard the home sandal is definitely yeah not up there on the comfort scale so i wanted to try the steve madden one because the one from Dune kind of disappointed me. Guys, what is Steve Madden? Steve, Steve, homeboy, what are you, what are you allegedly doing? Is that really a dupe? It, yeah, I don't know how, I don't know how you get away with it, you on Amazon, but you, you do you. And for me, and my house we're gonna stick to buying what we actually love regardless of whether or not it's from you steve or from you amazon if 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 at all yeah i don't think so or if i buy this from a local artisan that is duping the Chanel made from really great suede material that I could at least put some money in his pocket so he could go home and feed his family tonight. So guys, yeah, don't throw stones and well, too quickly. This is not to negate the fact that there are people out there, organizations out there, duplicating, replicating, similarly to what I'm seeing now on Amazon, luxury items that look so real for clandestine, atrocious, just to wreak maybe havoc on their own humankind. That's definitely not to negate that. And I know that there are definitely systems in place to mitigate those issues. But what are we doing to mitigate what is actually staring us in the face that these organizations could actually get easier access to, to do whatever we are claiming. And in some instances, they were proven to have done very great food for thought and I hope you really think it through and this message is for all the companies the brands that are duplicating out there I just hope you know what you're doing it's not all about the money hope this video was useful and that you have learned something and I would see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye.